The Native American that was there on uh, in America. The white man discovered nothing. Matter of fact, the Indians taught the white man how to plant, how to wash the ass. So the white man got there, they uh, they betrayed, they they went against the native, and the native uh, 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 welcomed them with open arms when they got to America. But the white man stabbed them behind their back, man. They destroyed over 70 billion, million Indians, man, that was there. The white man's the devil that the Bible speaks of. And, and, and how America got its prosperity, bringing Negroes into America. Slavery, picking cotton. And today, in some parts of America, Negroes still picking cotton in some parts of America, man, for free. Yeah, so all those people that devoured, going with the white man and the heathen, what, what the most I said, what's going to happen to them? Yeah, bro, all those that devoured, they devoured, they will be devoured, come on. All like adversaries, uh -huh. every one of them shall go into captivity. All of them going to captivity, man. That's that the Lord. Yeah, bro, that is 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 the Lord. The white man's gonna serve us in the kingdom. The Chinese is gonna serve us in the kingdom. The Africans is gonna serve us in the kingdom. Because all of them took partake of our damn for, man. That's why the Negro is the tail and the heathens are the uh, head. The heathens are the head, man. Every time you gotta borrow money, you gotta borrow money for the white man. We don't care you shoot. We don't care if you speak evil, but the truth is the truth. Go ahead. Exodus 21, 16. Come on. And he that's stealing a man is telling him, uh -huh. or if he is found in his hand, uh -huh. he shall surely put to death. Yeah, so whoever steals a man should be what? They're going to be put to death. Now give me Revelation 13, verse 9. And somebody give me uh, uh, Jeremiah 4. Well, right, give me that Jeremiah 4, 19 through 21. Go ahead. So all the cur curses that's upon us Negro, the most high is going to bring it upon a white man. And he's heathen. And that's the moment we're looking for. That's the moment we're looking for. That's why America's falling, man. Got grown women that try to look like Beyonce, man. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. Jeremiah 4, verse 19. Go ahead. My bowels, my bowels. I am being at my very heart. Come on. My heart making a noise in me. I cannot hold my feet. I can't hold my feet. Go ahead. Because thou hast heard, O my soul, the song of the trumpet. The song of the trumpet, huh? Good morning. The alarm of war. The alarm of war. The alarm is about to sound off, man. Sound the alarm. The alarm is about to ring off real soon, man. Go ahead, huh? Destruction upon destruction. Destruction is upon destruction, man. For the whole land is spoiled. The whole land is spoiled, man. Because when, when all hell breaks loose, when these Negroes can't feed their children, when you can't eat, when your belly going hungry, guess what's going to happen? Yeah, Negroes is going to uprise against those people in West Morris. Man, shut the hell up. You don't even know your history. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because you reject knowledge. And you got a pussy spirit on you too. Yes. Because it's a church. Jeremiah 18, 15. Go ahead. Because my people have forgotten me. Yes, go ahead. They have burned incense to vanity. Yeah, they burned incense to vanity. And then, Somebody, we African. We ain't no African. They have the Bible tell you you're a nationality, man. 
Zato jer Musa se motivo Sarić, ma? To Musa koji je Sarić, which means stupid. Because you don't know who you are. Ya Negroes are original Jews of the Bible. Ya not African, you moron. Where's African in the Bible? Good, huh? And there are four gentlemen stumbling their way uh -huh. from the ancient past to walk in past in past and 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 can any, anybody have any type of intelligence and tell me what their word Africa means? Yeah, yes, dumb niggas don't know. Keep walking. All right, go ahead. Yeah, Matthew 13, 49 through 50. Oh, give, me, give me one more scripture, then I'll, I'll, I'll answer your question. Matthew 13, 49. Go, go follow the woman. Go ahead. So shall it be at the end of the world. Come on. The angels shall come forth and smoke the wicked from among the just. So the angels gonna do what? He shall come forth and smoke the bear. Yeah, so bear, he's gonna punish. He's gonna destroy what? The wicked from among the just. Yeah, so the wicked from among the just. That's what Christ gonna do. I Christ told you what he's gonna do in the Bible. So what what makes you think he come in with love and peace? What Bible are you reading? What Bible are you reading? Christ ain't coming for love and peace. He's coming to destroy the wicked. All you niggas that's not keeping the laws and statutes and commandments, the most I'm going to destroy you niggas. And what? Niggas is in the Bible. And to cast them into, into the furnace. So the, the most they're going to cast them among furnace, man. Fire. Go ahead, huh? There shall be a wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yeah, it's going to be wailing and gnashing of teeth, man. And that might happen at the end of this year. Who knows? It might happen in six months. Because what a prophecy is that America's got to fall. Sorry. And the NFID should got be implemented. I'm glad just passed the law that everybody on the planet Earth got to get the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Every man and woman and child got to get the RFID chip. That's one of the last prophecies before Christ makes his appearance, man. Kamala knows about this. Kamala went to India to study about the RFID chip, the biometric system. Y'all Negroes don't read? The TT dollars going to finish real soon. Good. Twenty-five, thirty-two. Right. Every forehead shall be gathered all nations. Uh -huh. And he shall separate them one from another. He's gonna separate them one from another. Yeah. Yeah. So the most is about separation. Christ is about separation. Why are you teaching the church that God loves everybody? When Christ come here, he will separate his sheep from the goat. Now, who are the sheep? Now, give me a priest that who are the sheep. Be on point. Hey, give me a precept about who the goats. I think that's on Daniel 8, verse 50. Uh, you know the goats, right? Yeah, okay, give me that real quick. Yeah, Mom, 50 yeah. verse 17. Come on. Israel is a scattered sheep. Israel is a scattered sheep. The Negroes, the Latino, and the Native. Yah are the sheep of the Most High. Not everybody. Now, give me the scripture on the goat. Who are the goats? Give me the goat. Yeah, read. Daniel 21. Come on. And the rough goat is the king of Greece. Yeah, the rough goat is the king of Greece. That's a so-called white man. How the white man came together was by a general named Alexandra the Freak. He the one got the white people all together to come against who? To come against these people. Y'all don't read your history? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Y'all don't read. That's why everything is turned upside down. That's why the women are dressing like this today. 
Because they're under, under the influence of the devil with the so-called white man. Looking like whores and trash. If Nicki Minaj wear a wig, the black woman gonna wear a wig. And y'all women gotta start dishing, man. Y'all don't smell right down there. Yeah, read, huh? So check it out, man. Uh, it's the gun. Jack Warner is there. 
What are y'all leaders is doing? They don't care about y'all. Good. Matter of fact, one was for this. Come on. But God being a deceiver, with all his trust in men, and all that, and sacrifices unto the Lord, they corrupt him. For I am great king. For I am a great king. Says the Lord of hosts. God. You, now give me all. Give me all. I want my people to follow with you, man. Real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah 5 verse 26. Come on. Says, so among my people are found wicked men. Yeah, so among my people are found wicked men. Like Jack Warner, Patrick Manning. We prophesied that Patrick Manning going to die this year. We prophesied that, that, man, because he ain't right. Even though he was a, a better prime minister than Carmelite, <laughs> he's going to die. Because among my people are found wicked men. The most I will kill Jack Warner too. Because Jack Warner would kill by him and his family. He don't care about y'all Negroes in the community. He don't care about y'all talk. You know how much money that man got? Where's the, where's the donations to the people in Lavisville? What, what is he doing? What, what happens to these um, these, um, these South Elite churches like, uh, like Goofy? Well, what kind of pastors they got here on, on Ray? Uh, Pastor KK. Yeah, Pastor KK. KK well, what are they doing for the community? What are they doing for the poor? From the study I've been doing, they just get their pockets back. Get a Mercedes and Lexus. Yeah. Yeah. Buy their land. <laughs> well, uh, well, yeah, 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 it's like a pastor steward in South Africa. He's a perfect example of how these pastors are. Uh, huh? Well, how much? Right? How much Pastor Stewart won his collection play? What do you say? Yeah. What about? Africa. Come on. That's right, so made it a, a desolate wilderness. Mm -hmm. Alright. Africa. The word Africa comes from a Roman general. Alright? It comes from a Roman general for Leo uh, uh, Africano. Alright? He invaded the, the land of, uh, of Kemet. Alright, if you were still part Kemet, that means soft land. Okay, uh, he invaded Hannibal during the uh, continent of uh, uh, the Punic War. The Punic War. Alright, so when you look at the word Africa, it comes from a Roman, a white general named Leo Africano. He invaded the land of Kemet. So, y'all Negroes call yourself Africa. When you look in the mirror, y'all not white. Y'all Negroes. They're not white men. Because the word Africa comes from a, a white man. That's right. But that don't mean just that it's like 20 years. That's what it is. Give me Psalm 49, verse 11. African man. You mean the word African in the Bible? Every man and a woman that walks this earth has a true identity in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Now, give me the Donovan, um. Give me the Donovan, um. Go ahead, read. Uh, 49, verse 11. Come on. Then they were told, Come on. And their death and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their land after their own name. Yeah, they call their land after their own name. So all these names that's upon the earth right now, like Asia. Asia coming from where? Uh, Asiatic. Right? It came after a white man. That's not even a true name. Alright? So now, Give me all. Uh, give me egg. Uh, give me ham. Give me ham. I think Asia Africa. Some stuff like that. It's named after a, a Roman general also. Alright? Now I'm going to tell you there's a difference between an African man and a so-called Negro. 
And the white man knows it. That's why he published this book. To hide your true identity and to hide knowledge from a black man, you gotta put it in books. Because the white man knows the Negroes don't read. Y'all only watch TV and DVD. That's all y'all do. Y'all don't read. Go ahead. Ham! Ham! The youngest son of Noah was Moses about 96 years old. Yeah, so Ham was one of the sons of Noah. Now read, son. And one of the eight persons uh -huh. was through the flood. That's through, through, live through the flood. Come on. So Ham became the progenitor, the father line, the originator. Go ahead. Of the dark races. Of the what? Of the dark races. So the dark races came out of Ham, right? Now, read. Not the Negroes. It say what? Not the Negroes. It say not the Negroes. Y'all didn't come out of Ham. Y'all came out of Shep. Just because you see a black cat, a black rat, and a black dog, are they the all same species? So, hold on. The only the similarity I got is the color. That's it. But you are not African. African people, they circumcise they women. They circumcise their little girl. They cut the clitoris of the little girl. The Africans do that. The Africans eat boo boo. Negro women don't do that. Put the African style real quick. Give me that real quick. Give me that real quick. That's good as reading. Egyptian. Yes. So the ham is the father of the Egyptian. Go ahead. The Ethiopian. The Libyan and the Canaanite, not the Negro. So if y'all was the same people, why the Africans had y'all in slavery? Now give me Exodus 11 verse 7, please. Give me Exodus 11 verse 7. Exodus 11 verse 7. says, but the gates of the children of Israel shall not a door through the stuff says against man of this that ye may know who the Lord that put a difference between Egyptian and Israel. Good. Beautiful. That's right. So put a difference between the African man and the Hebrew Israelite. Y'all Negroes that walk this island, y'all the Hebrew Israelites. Y'all the original Jews of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So there's a big difference between the African man Right, that's the African section, and the Negro, like James Brown, like uh, Michael Jordan, LeBron James. We are the salt of the earth, and these are the African, like Nelson Mandela, Obama. All right, these are two different types of people, two different class of people, man. All right, who can who can fly like LeBron James and Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant? The Africans can't do that. Who could dance like Michael Jackson and James Brown at the age of seventy? The Africans can't do that. We are the salt of the earth, man. We don't do things like this. We don't put plates in our mouth, man. We don't do things like that, man. We don't we don't blow and cow butt and make doodle come out and sleep there for 24 hours. We don't do things like that. That's not in our spirit. We are not Africans. Uh, give me a. Uh, yeah, go ahead. The Negroes were derived from uh, from Nigeria, and that's how the Bible goes. Right? Because I don't know what to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on for that. And bump, go to Exodus real quick. One, uh, twelve to thirteen. Read that for me. Hebrews are like, go ahead, I. Huh? Yes, but the more they afflicted them, 
the more they multiply and grow. Uh -huh. And they will be because of the children of Israel. Okay, go ahead. And the Egyptian men is the children of Israel. Hey, listen, listen. That, that was your answer right there. Read that again, bro. And the Egyptian made the children of Israel. Made the children of Israel. Go ahead. To serve rigor. What rigor? That means strictness, hard. You know, they, they put us in slavery, man. That was hard bonded with these Africans, this and these uh, so-called Negroes, man. And the Africans know that uh, the Negroes, the, these are two different classes of people, man. Because in America, the Africans can't stand the Negroes. If they be fighting against each other in America, they know that we're not the same people. But that Negro man, Negro woman, y'all think y'all the same people. Alright? So now, give me, uh, give me Exodus 2, uh, all right? 13, and, uh, John 11. Exodus 2, 11 to 14. Exodus chapter 2, 11 to 14. Come on. He went yes, he went on to his treasure. So Moses went on to his what? To his people. So he was looking at his for his treasures were suffering. Go ahead, up. And he looked on their burden. Yeah. And he cried. And he looked at smiting a Hebrew. Yeah, he looked at Egyptian what it was smiting a what? A Hebrew. So he's seen an African man, he's African.